If you guys want to know how to add bows to your game, you guys can right put because today I'm going to give you guys a short guide on how to make your how to make how to add bows onto your RPG game. And I don't mean bows like those fancy tie bows and all that stuff. I am talking about actual bow and arrows. And we'll do that right after the intro. Hey everyone, this is the game here. I'm back from the video. Angel, I'll be teaching you guys how to make how to add bows or web or more com more more specifically ranged weapons into your RPG game. That's right. Some people would like some people would have um would say that like I'll admit um some some people like me myself would um admit that swords aren't uh, swords aren't the only type of medieval weapon there are there are spells there are bows there's um. Books, spell books, wands. I ah, sure. All right. Truth is, um, but what I'm trying to say is, um, swords are not the end of the, swords are not all are not the end all be all. It's an option for your RPG game weapons. There could be more. So I'm gonna give you guys just that. And um, anyways, and special thanks and special thanks to uh, Wayne. And special thanks to not Wayne Coast because well, Wayne Coast didn't come out yet. Would give me the idea. Give me the idea, but he reminded me about the idea. But, um, nah, he didn't make me that, so, um, for y'all said. Anyways, I got the idea from Wayne Custom Free, um, who made the game, um, and I just thought, why not make it? So, anyways, um, special things, anyways, um, but I mostly got the idea from uh, most, uh, my, most of the people gave from my comments were the ones that came out the idea at first. So, yeah. And that's all about Hot Brian. But before we get, if you guys new to the channel, I'd like me to push more comments, kind of please be sure to subscribe, like, and chime out, Sound Channel. If you also not this video. And it was like my postmark on list in future. And let's, up, let's hop right in. So, this is actually a quick tutorial, actually. Um, I know all these videos just keep on getting shorter and shorter. But hey, I'm going to have more comments in the future. Um, so, but basically, yeah, I'm going to teach you guys this. So, basically, let's just, so basically, I'm going to show you guys. So basically, I have another, I have another um, rage, I have another weapon kit, and I have another kit that I want to show you guys. Um, another accessory, another um, third party that will totally help you out a lot. This is called the Rage Weapons Kit that I made. Um, it isn't what I made, but I didn't modify it to make it work with Drop's RPG kit. Um, technically, technically, this is this is actually Furby's RPG. This from Furby's RPG, as you can tell from here. If I open this up, you'll see something that says um, this is basically the bow from Furby's weapon kit, but it's modified for Drop's RPG kit. So, um, and the link for that is in this tutorial. Another tutorial is coming soon, which pretty sure it'll be pretty sure one is published. So, yeah. Anyways. Let's get to it. So, first of all, uh, let's start off here. So, this is a bow, as you can tell, and uh, it actually looks like any other bow. So, so if I like uh, play the game for a second, I'll show you guys what I mean. So, if I play the game, you guys will see that um, there's this. So, basically, here's the here's the sword we're all aware of, and here's the bow. So, this is the bow we use. Um, it's basically so basically the, how the bow works is that like. Um, Basically, um, you don't just basically um, you so basically if the one sword you can't attack it. So like if I did this, you you can pretty much tell that. One second, uh, all right, that, that should fix it. Anyway, you can pretty much tell that the sword um, you can't attack it from here. So, but if you use a bow, you'll see that it'll attack. It'll, it'll attack it, or you pretty much, it'll pretty much like hit the mob or damage the mob. And pretty much you can do it like this, and just like that, it's dead. All because we used a bow. And sure, um, bow looks. The, and this bow is, um, and I'm gonna show you guys how to actually config the mom the bow a bit. And it pretty much acts like a weapon, pretty much. So basically, well, how the way, how it works is that it's just like it basically have this has this thing right here. I'll show you. If you look at this, you'll huh, let, let me show you. Like so, basically, um, you know, you know, you see this thing right here. That's basically a pellet or a bullet, pretty much. So what it does is that it basically acts like the da it basically acts like the damage. It basically acts like a bullet, and when it touch and when a mob touches it, it, it damages it, which is pretty cool to be honest. So yeah, here it is. Let's just test it right here, and there you go. Yeah, um, pretty cool if you guys me. And yeah, um, that's pretty much all I can say. Um, and if you guys want to know how to customize these um these weapons all that stuff, and I make how to make how to make, make these bows a bit better, like um the sand claw right here, um. Like customize and all that stuff. Then, um, what I recommend is take a look at the description down below where I taught or I where I taught you guys how to make um, custom or not custom, but uh, swords and um, or custom weapons and or not just custom weapons, but more of yeah, custom weapons, um, custom mesh weapons, and and I'll show you guys how to do that. So yeah, I went more detail on that, but yeah, 
this is basically all there is to it about this video. Um, but I'm actually gonna, I'm actually now gonna show you guys how to customize the weapons too. So if we just wait a bit, wait, 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 or it's not gonna spawn. Maybe yep, it's not spawning. Okay, so how to customize it is just you guys want a powerful sword, then a powerful bow. And all you have to do is simply um. What I do is simply go to just get this sword, like change change to 400 to 500, 400. And if you play it, you should see that we have a, have an OP bow. So let's see if that works. So you will see that we got this. All right. So let's go ahead and take this guy out, or maybe not. Huh, that's a surprise. Uh oh. Okay, never mind. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I'm sure how these things work. Um, but. You're gonna, you got my. It's a little glitchy, but uh, I think in on that might be good. But yeah, that's probably all I can say about this video. Uh, I apologize if it was kind of short. Um, but you know, actually, you know, now I'm thinking about I'm probably. Nah, I'm, I'm thinking I'm probably gonna show you. I'm probably gonna go ahead and just um, end it here. I know it's a little bit of a. I know I'm sorry for having these short videos and all that stuff, but in the end, um. And yeah, I, I just want to show you guys this because I thought it'll be pretty relevant to those who want to make an RPG game and all that stuff. But yeah, um, if you guys have any more questions, want me to know, want to know, how, and as well, if you guys want to have any questions on how to edit this and all that stuff, then um, take a the link down below. I have advanced more, I have more advanced tutorial on how to do that and all that stuff. So yeah, and that that's probably it for this video. So thank you, children. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys like to see more videos like this, please be sure to subscribe, like, and turn the bell so I know. We also have a video, and here's why I might push my comments in the future. I'm also, I'm also planning to upload this game to the public as soon, but I'm not sure when because, well, let's face it, um, I got I got uh, Night Lordian and uh, Zavix to worry about, but I'm mostly Night Lordian. But yeah, um, anyways, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and this is Big Game 6 now. Peace.